You're watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video. And by Utech, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. Hey everyone, I'm Rene Ritchie. I'm Sean Captain, And this is CES Live. We've been talking a lot today about you know, television, sound systems, but we want to get you guys some content. We want to have something that you can put on all these great new systems. Yep. So how about uh, a sling? A sling would be fantastic. Think you can do that? Uh, I would love to get my TV everywhere. All right, boom, sling. Mark, there we go. how are you? I just like that it happens. <laughs> how are you, Renee? How are you? Sean, It feels good. like we got you here as fast as Sling gets content to my, yes. to my display. Are no you latency, actually no here latency. or are you just being beamed in from somewhere No, else? I'm not being beamed in. This okay. is not a hologram. Okay. Um, I, uh, actually, we're in booth 8143 in the Central Hall. If you want to stop by and see all our stuff in all its glory. Okay. So I think people are familiar with Sling. Like, going back years and years, the case was, I want to watch my sports team, but I'm not where my sports team is. Someone trying to give me that, and you that, did that. That is the absolute great marketing <laughs> definition of a Slingbox customer. In fact, I'm the classic definition of a Slingbox customer before I joined the company. Um, it, it's the, our classic customer really is someone who's typically a business traveler, loves sports, is a sports enthusiast, travels all the time, and wants to have access to their local sports because they typically can't, can't get it. Um, they can't get it from their cable provider, even though their cable providers have TV Anywhere apps have <laughs> tremendous limitations to those apps. Yeah, they locally lock them, or they, they cancel your, they, they make you log in, so many, it's ridiculous. It's authentication, yes. that's the technical name for it. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, if you go to a website, www.dontgetquap, cwap.com, uh -huh. we have an entire website that's dedicated to uh, the, the uh, uh, let's say the misleading type of messages you sometimes <laughs> get from the cable company, and sure. for example, Let's just use Comcast as an example. Fine cable company. Yes. You'll only yes. get about 15% of your channels. You know, if you oh, through the TV anyway. If you subscribe to it, and there's all kinds of limitations. There's geo blocking, which is a technical. You've got to stand on one leg. Uh, yeah, shake four. your head yeah. three times when the moon is yep. shining, and um, you know, and, and the, the time you don't want to find out that you have a quap problem, <laughs> uh, can't watch anywhere uh, uh, um, playing program content problem is when your game is on, yeah. and typically yeah. that's what happens. It's the playoffs, it's always the playoffs. Yes. <laughs> and so you don't and even know necessarily if it's going to work from one time to another. And you can count yeah. on the sling box. And yeah. you know, the product has been around 10 years, we've, we've updated and revised it several times, we've got a couple of new models that are out that we'll talk about. Great. But it's a tremendous platform because not only is it great from a mobile experience, you know, most people, believe it or not, most people still view content on our, they can uh, log into a web browser with an internet connection anywhere they want to and view their, view their content. Mm -hmm. More and more people are using their iPad or their iPhone or their Android tablet or Android phone to view it. Um, and, but it, the great thing about it is we now have wide support for streaming devices. So sometimes people confuse a Slingbox with a Roku yes. or a Chromecast. Right. Actually, we embrace those products. So, for example, if you took an Amazon Fire TV stick mm -hmm. and put it, put, put it in your pocket, you went to a hotel room, all TV, um, most hotel rooms around the country now have been upgraded with new yep. TVs. You, t you stick that, um, stick it to the HDMI port, and you can stream your content to a 60-inch TV set. So wow. it's really a fabulous experience, and like I said, I have never worked for a company that has, has so many passionate users around it. Well, it's, it's, it's ownership, it's, it's the, it, like you've mentioned the sports, but it's also your newscast. It's the people you trust, yes. the channels you're used to, the familiar faces that you want, and when you're traveling, I, I think that makes you comfortable. Well, and it's not just sports. I mean, sports is the, is the big advertising yeah. plug that people love, but it's also local news. You know, if, if I'm in uh, Princeton, New Jersey, where I have a sling box so I can watch local games, which is what I do, because mm -hmm. I'm a big New York Giants fan, hey, sometimes I want to find out what's going on from a news uh, standpoint in New Jersey, I'm not going to get that uh, get that out in San Jose, where I live. So the news component, component and the local customization of that data and, and content is a very, very compelling thing for people. And what about internationally as well? What if I want to get the news from India or something like that? Do you and have a lot of international use as well? Oh, we, well, we have sling, you know, sling boxes can be purchased. You know, the, the reverse situation right, exists yeah. as well. I could have a sling box in the UK or different countries, and I can take that content and, uh, and uh, sling it back right. to the United States. I mean, most of our users tend to focus in the U.S. because of the thing on sports. Mm -hmm. But no, the, the, you can you can use that product wherever you are. You know, you're famous when you got your own verb. <laughs> 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 yes, that's that's true, and it really is part of the technical lexicon. I mean, people use that phrase over and over well, again. Well, you not you know, you're here, but I'm saying it anyway. You pioneered a lot of the streaming, you know, point-to-point -point streaming stuff. Yeah, and and it's interesting that 
the, the, the conversations we have with people is there, it's not like we, there is some competition. If you walk around the show, there is no one that can really do what a Slingbox does. Right. I mean, people get sometimes confused. Well, I can get live TV with, with Apple TV. Yes. That's not, tr not, not true. Yes. <laughs> um, and that's the marketing job to help clarify that. But the reality is, is really, really own the whole play shifting uh, category. And, uh, and it's been, you know, it's, it's, we've been around for about 10 years. We continue to, to revise our models. We were talking about this during the, uh, before the, the, the segment began. We introduced a new product called the M1 uh -huh. a few months ago, which is our lowest priced uh, sling box. It's $149. We added wireless to it. We got a lot, a lot of feedback from customers that, hey, give me wireless because when I put that sling box in my home, I may not be near a router. In fact, most people yeah. put their sling box in a bedroom because during the, during the day, you're typically not using your TV, and it's a great way to access it. We even have customers actually who buy sling boxes and they put them in a closet because you don't need a TV yeah. to access that kind of. Yeah. As long as it's near the cable box, you can do that. I have friends who don't know what Ethernet is. <laughs> they're they're like, what well, what is this cable for? Yeah, it's that strange cable. <laughs> it kind of looks like a phone cord cable, right. but what phone doesn't cords look like in the old days. Yes, well, exactly. well, phones don't have cords; they just go in your pocket. <laughs> 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 but um, so and you were saying that there's some contextual technology as well where it knows what you're watching and can give you additional content. How does that work? Yeah, so one of the real exciting features we've announced with our premium Slingbox, which is the Slingbox 500, mm -hmm. it's $299. Mm -hmm. And okay. I should say, by the way, there are no monthly fees. That's very, very important. That is. A lot of people sometimes think, well, this, for all this greatness, do we have to pay $15 It's just another a month. subscription service. No, there's yeah. no monthly fees at all with our product. You, pay the, you buy the box and you're done. Mm -hmm. uh, is that we do have now contextual capability with the Slingbox 500, which means that if I'm, for example, watching the New York Giants game, and I want to be able to see what's going on from a YouTube app, uh, YouTube content standpoint, the Slingbox 500 now has uh, YouTube app capability, which means, I, let's say at halftime, I take a break, I bring up the YouTube app, and it knows that I'm watching the Giants games, and it oh. will bring up YouTube content at the same time, any, any subject. And that really is very, very compelling, because again, the typical Slingbox user is typically watching content in, in snippets. Yeah. 20 mm -hmm. minutes here, 30 minutes there. Again, depending on the course of the day and what day of the week and what's on, but they're, 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 t they're call, call it TV snacking mm -hmm. with, with content. And that YouTube app capability now provides a very robust, enriching experience. And that's what you're going to see us continue to do over and over again as we try to you know, bridge the over the top world, which is essentially what a YouTube uh, app does, and the linear world, which is conventional television. Look, look, all we want is the show that we want, where we want it, and when we want it. Exactly. Is that really so hard? <laughs> no, it's, it, it shouldn't be. And you know, the uh, other nice thing about this is not too many people know this, you can control your DVR. You know, you talk about you know, TV anytime you want to. Mm -hmm. Again, I, I think the stat is that about half of the American homes who have cable TV have a DVR. It's 50, 55%, mm -hmm. which is a pretty big number. You can actually view all your DVR content. You can program your DVR. Yeah remotely by using the You can leave the CES party early because you want to sling Agent Carter from last night, not looking at any. I saw the reviews <laughs> and I have a, that show apparently did not get good reviews, so <laughs> I, I got to catch up on too my Too late, everyone's slung it already. Oh, <laughs> too late, too late. Now, there's something that might confuse people a little bit. Uh, a service uh, called Sling TV launch, which yes. is a online streaming sort of replacement for cable. You're not exactly connected with that? Or? Well, we are, well we, we are in the sense that uh, Slingbox is a wholly owned company under our parent company, EchoStar. Okay. Uh, EchoStar is under a, um, a media uh, conglomerate that houses Hughes.net, uh, I'm sorry, Hughes, uh, Dish Digital, which makes yeah. the hopper. And Dish Digital recently announced a new service a couple of days ago called Sling TV. Okay. They licensed the name from us, so there is an association and okay. relationship with us. And the reason why they went with using the, the brand Sling, it's so synonymous with yeah. watching TV yeah. anywhere. And, and I don't want to speak for the uh, Sling TV guys because they would, they probably wouldn't be crazy about that. Oh, but we can a, do that for you. No, but, <laughs> yeah. it, but it's a terrific service. It's twenty dollars a month. ESPN is part of the package, and uh -huh. uh, you know we think it's going to get so much attention and focus that we think it will obviously drive uh, traffic and and interest in Sling Our, our uh, chat room is asking because the buzzwords we've been hearing all day are four K, uh, high definition, sorry, no, high dynamic range. Uh, H.265, I'm not going to say HEV, please don't make me say <laughs> HEV, <laughs> worst acronym ever. Um, things like this, I, what do you guys, 
most of your customers traditionally were mobile. Do you see a demand for mm. the big panel, sort of 4K, high depth stuff, or is it still mostly that, a mobile that is, on, that is on the radar screen. I mean, uh. at some point, you know, we will have to make some type of uh, adjustment and twist to embrace that. Right now, as you all know, the, the amount of 4K content is actually very small. And frankly, if I'm mm -hmm. on a hotel with like um, or LTE or something, the last thing I want is a 4K. <laughs> yeah, and, thank and, you, but. <laughs> well, I mean, that's part of it, but the world is going to go in that direction yeah. at some point, and we have to be able to be in a position to optimize that. I think the most important thing, though, is that the great thing about Slingbox technology is that we optimize the video experience. So depending on what type of internet connection you have, you may have a mediocre connection. We comprehend that from an optimization standpoint, mm -hmm. and we can deliver a high def experience even if you do have a kind of fairly modest or mediocre uh, internet connection. But at some point, to answer your question, as more and more content, more uh, 4K enabled TVs go there, mm -hmm. now Slingbox will be there to uh, embrace that. I'd say, I mean, it's amazing because it, uh, it snaps into a sharp picture almost instantly yes. when you tune into something. And I know that doesn't just happen. There's a lot of technology no, there's some in there. <laughs> there's some technical magic that goes there's on people behind in that. those cables who are badly <laughs> working. Well, I mean, you know, you know, it's a really good example is that, again, one of the advantages of our technology versus, um, uh, uh, versus uh, what you see with the cable companies, again, one of the limitations you have, we work with cellular connections. Mm -hmm. So not everybody is around. Until we have worldwide Wi-Fi, yeah. where you're always in a hot spot, no matter where you are, mm -hmm. um, you, have to, you can have the ability to actually access your sling box content with just a cellular connection. And by the way, it optimizes the experience. So I encourage you later, if you, uh, if you guys have got iPhones or iPads, yeah. Yeah. fire it up with just uh, LTE, and you'll actually get a very, very stunning, so you may not like the data impact, yeah. <laughs> you know, which is why you should use Wi-Fi, <laughs> but the quality of the picture and the it's content phenomenal. is yeah. phenomenal. So if people yeah. are interested, if they want to get into Sling, where can they go to get more information? They can go to slingbox.com. Um, we got all kinds of craziness going down back at our booth, booth 8143 in, the, in uh, uh, Central Hall. Okay. We do have a show special. We're um, offering, if you come to the show, uh, to the booth and get a little ticket, we have a little code where you can get $30 off a sling box. That's nice. Uh, nice. Order, which is a great nice. deal. And we're each, uh, also giving away a sling box every day. Even better? Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Mark, thank you so much. No, so that is slingbox.com. If you want to get your TV no matter where you are, absolutely check them out. Sean? Yes, sir. Are you going to sling something? Uh, I just sling the show. I've been slinging a lot of um, ideas around. Some of them are sticking and They're some high def ideas. Yes. <laughs> They're high def ideas. All right, I'm Rene Ritchie. I'm Sean Captain. This is CES Live, and we'll be right back. Cheers.